the age-old fascination with giants, has persisted throughout the human history, and has spawned so many stories on their presence. Since the pre-biblical times, tales of these colossal giants, have sparked our imagination, and curiosity for generations. Are they the Nephilims? The sacred texts define Nephilim as an offspring between the sons of the gods and the daughters of Adam. This has always been a matter of debate among the scholars as whether the Nephilims actually existed or they were only an act of fiction. By writing off Nephilims, there is always a consequential effect of nullifying the writings of the Old Testament. Scientifically, scientists are yet to find out any proof of substance as a pointer to the existence of giant-like entities inhabiting the earth. On a contrary, mere absence of proof also doesn't mean that those giants didn't exist at all. Post the deluge mentioned in the biblical texts, we also can find that the Nephilims were never washed away completely. They survived. So, in a way, the deluge was not a success. There are religious texts on the Anakim, otherwise called as Anakites, who were a formidable race of giant, warlike people believed to have occupied the lands of southern Israel near Hebron before the arrival of the Israelites. Hmm. An act of fiction or an allegory? Let's approach this scientifically. The largest hominoid, Gigantopithecus blacki, may have stood at ten feet tall, but died out a few hundred thousand years ago. There are many exceptions. Among the modern humans. But nobody was able to grow more than nine feet. These mostly occur due to hormonal disorders. And most of them suffer an early death. Due to recurring abnormalities. Let's come back to our topic of Gigantopithecus blacki. Gigantopithecus. Lived during the Pleistocene epoch. The Pleistocene epoch. Is a geological time period. That includes the last ice age. When glaciers covered huge parts of the globe. Also called the Pleistocene era. Or simply the Pleistocene. This epoch began about 2.6 million years ago and ended 11,700 years ago, according to the International Commission on Stratigraphy. Researchers know the size of Gigantopithecus blacki from the fossil remains of its teeth and jaw bones. Gigantopithecus fossils have been discovered in various parts of Southeast Asia, particularly in China, Thailand, and Vietnam. Gigantopithecus blacki rivaled a modern polar bear in size, would have weighed more than 1,000 pounds, and would have stood nearly 10 feet tall on its back legs. The large primate likely spent most of its time on all fours. Previous research determined Gigantopithecus was likely quadrupedal, because its jaws and teeth, while much larger, were similar to those of modern orangutans. Now, a new study confirms on a molecular level that orangutans are indeed the closest living relative of this ancient giant. The research suggests Gigantopithecus, split from the orangutan lineage, about 12 million years ago. The molars of Gigantopithecus are notably large and robust. Scientists have arrived that its molars were adapted for processing tough and fibrous vegetation, suggesting a plant-based diet, and its size bore a characteristic of large-bodied animals. Gigantopithecus blacki may have been the closest thing that ever existed to the mythical Nephilims, Bigfoots, and Sasquatches. But today, there are no giants to speak of, unless we somehow unearth one.